Hey y'all, I was not expecting very many people to watch the video, but some of y'all have watched it and seem to have been helped. Also, some of y'all had some feedback and some questions, and I wanted to address some of those here in a shorter video that is not so slow. So I've made some notes here to keep me on track. Um, in the first video I did, Put a lot of this in the description but I'm realizing that's extra work for y'all and it's it's a lot of things to read through so hopefully this is clearer and more helpful. One thing is I wish I could get to all of your comments but I can't. I'm realizing I am a mere mortal and we have a baby on the way that could come any day now <laughs> so we've got a lot going on. Um, I learned that there is an a group uh, that I knew about, but I did not realize that they did certify consumer water filters, the IAPMO, I believe is the abbreviation. And that does not change my assessment of Berkey, and it does not change my assessment of the other filters I linked to. What it does mean is there could be other consumer water filters that are good that I might consider buying for myself, but I haven't looked into them. Uh, one of them that I'm considering is the aqua true but i haven't had time to dig into it so i don't know just letting y'all know and i i linked in that video or uh, in the description to those databases and gave you search terms you can use uh so you can research yourself some of y'all asked if like why do you trust the nsf and um for me like i'm not a chemist and i i'm not a business person who helps run factories in Asia. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't, we have to trust some people who know more than us. And so, I mean, that's existing. We have to cooperate with other people who are better at things that we're not as good at. And then they have to trust us to do things that they're not good at, that we are. And so it really boils down to trust. And a lot goes into deciding if you trust someone um, it's kind of like a wager or a bet. You you look at the evidence, you kind of come up with your odds, and you 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 bet on what you think is a winner. You bet on what is trustworthy, and I've given you my evidence, I've given you my rationale, and that's the best I can do. The NSF, they've got really good labs with uh, a lot of accountability, and um, I trust that more than Berkey's one test in 2014 <laughs> from one lab. Uh, they don't retest annually where the NSF does. I mean, I think you just have to kind of put two and two together and realize it equals four. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe I've written my math equation wrong and, you know, maybe I'm, I'm misreading things. I'm just telling you how I approached it and you have to make up your own mind. I also realized that I did not uh, put in the archive.com link my emails to Berkey, and I don't want y'all to take my word for it that I had this email exchange with them, so I'm linking to those as well. I tried to black out my email address so I don't get a bunch of spam. I hope I didn't overlook it anywhere. <laughs> Please don't spam me. I'll just create a new email address. Um, And then... Let's see. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with the stainless steel canisters left over from the Berkey, but I'm hoping that we can repurpose them. And I linked in the description to a forum where that's discussed. But again, it's like two things. And then I looked one of them links to a third. So I understand if that's obnoxious and I will digest that information for myself and whatever I come up with. I will share with you all and hopefully it's informative and helpful. There's also, I'm coming up on five minutes. I'm trying to keep this to five minutes. There's one other thing that a lot of y'all asked and I'm so sorry that I overlooked it. And it's the difference between filtering water that comes out of a well or tap and something that comes out of a ditch or a pond. <laughs> so I want to address that as well. I'll put that in a second video.